Hello guys, welcome back to the second part of the AWS 3 tier architecture uh, video. So in our last video, we had uh, seen um, how the internet connection uh, was not there in our private subnet. Uh, so we had internet connections to uh, to our public subnets, uh, but we had no internet connections to the private subnet. If you go ahead and check, uh, when we tried to install the MySQL package, it was failing with connection timed out okay now what we need we need to add a NAT gateway in one of our public subnet so that the private subnet the private EC2 instances can connect to the internet through that NAT gateway okay so let's see how we can create the code how we can write the code to create the NAT gateway if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified whenever I add, I add more videos and automations so I have written the NAT gateway sections here if you go here I have used the resource block as AWS underscore NAT underscore gateway and given a name to that and I have allocated one of the elastic IP allocation ID equal to the elastic IP so you need an elastic IP to be allocated to the NAT gateway to work accordingly okay so for elastic IP creations you can see here it is very really simple two line code you have to only use the resource block of AWS underscore EIP and there you have to use BPC equal to true so what will happen here once you use it it will create an elastic IP for you and the same elastic IP you can see here have been allocated AWS underscore EIP dot my EIP dot ID that is the my EIP is the name of the resource block of AWS EIP underscore EIP okay so now I got the allocation ID yeah EIP ID now we need the subnet ID where we need to put the NAT gateway so this is I have used AWS underscore subnet dot public and in the square bracket I have just given the index 0 that means I'm going to put this NAT gateway in my first public subnet that is 10.0.1.0 okay there I'm going to put this NAT gateway and you have to use this argument as depends and score on so what it says to ensure the proper auditing is recommended to add explicit dependency on the internet gateway for the BPC so what do you have to add you have to use depends on uh, and the internet gateway because it will be dependent on the internet gateway so that is what we are going to add it so let's go ahead and create the NAT gateway and see how it is getting uh, routed the internet to the private subnet okay so before going and executing it we have to add our NAT gateway into the route table okay so if you see here in this route table we have to add another section is called aws underscore default underscore route table as you know and i had explained you like whenever you create a custom bpc that time a main default route table will be created and in our case we have created a custom route table also we would have already a main default route table so all the public subnets being added to the associate with the custom route table now what I'm going to uh, do that uh, the route of the NAT gateway going to change the default route table so to modify and change the default route table we have to use this resource block AWS underscore default underscore route table so if I go to the Terraform uh, documentations you can find this uh, AWS route and you can just copy this one and change accordingly okay this is the associations you have to change and uh, go ahead and get all the informations uh, this is the route table association but for default route table associations you will find it over here uh, here aws underscore default underscore route table okay just go ahead and get this options and modify accordingly and add it into your code that is what i have done it here okay now uh, the route table thing is done. Let's go ahead and add all this code into our project. Okay, so let me go to the terminal and let me come out from this private subnet and from this public subnet as well. So I'm into my laptop. So now 
but still we are into the public subnet one of these let's go ahead okay here it is the project folder and i am going to add the nat gateway over here okay so if i just open this nat gateway here okay the same thing whatever i was just explaining been added to this file nat gw.tf okay the same thing has been added so what we need now the same things also need to be added uh, the routing of the NAT gateway in the route table okay we need the default route table to be changed okay let me explain you on this so if i go ahead and uh, go to the vpc uh, section right in our vpc uh, we'll see there will be now three vpc will be created sorry two vpc will be created. one is the default account vpc and one vpc we created but if we go ahead and check the route table we have three route tables how because one route table was created as part of the default vpc one main table created as part of the custom vpc and one custom route table we had created you can see here three vpcs are there and you can see here the main sections the tab here two vpc are the main default vpc and you can see here this is the a to b uh, is uh, the custom vpc which we had created okay that means this is this will be our main default vpc as part of our custom one now this we need to modify this route table okay if you see here go down on the route sections we do not have anything routed no gateway is added so we are going to add that on the same thing is being written in this um, route table to add this NAT gateway the CIDR block is to make to public okay so this sections we are not going to add in our route table right? route.tf file let's go ahead and open this uh, route.tf uh, go down and here what I'm going to do going to add the sections the NAT gateway adding the NAT gateway into the default main route table that means going to update or modify the default route table okay so that's all now let's go ahead and use and apple do the terraform apply terraform apply and this time i'm going to give auto approve okay let's see what's happening and uh, one more thing we forgot to add our eip so we have not added the eip so let's go ahead and create one file called eip.tf okay we need to add the resource aws underscore eip okay i can give it name as my eip go ahead and here simple you have to just put vpc equal to two that's all right let's go ahead and do and let's check as for the things we have written the code okay now good now let's go ahead and use terraform apply terraform apply and i'm going to use auto approve good now hit enter so what it will do it will refresh the things and then what it says add three sources only because we are going to add the rest of the things is already those things were already being there okay so it is creating my eip that is the elastic ip it is creating and it is creating the nat gateway so once the nat gateway is get created then it will modify the default route table and add the routing options there just wait for a few minutes so here it is we can see that uh, three resources have been added okay now if i go ahead and uh, check uh, the vpc sections if you go ahead and uh, go to the nat gateway sections here just click on the nat gateway and here it is we have the nat gateway created okay so this is the nat gateway and the elastic ip you can see here it is attached here now let's go ahead and check the route table whether the route table has successfully see it has been modified and i have given an m2 as default route table okay if i go ahead here and I go to say see the route sections here it is the destination is given the public and here 
the target is the mad gateway id is being added okay now hopefully the private instance also will have now the internet connections okay now let's go ahead and check uh, so first what we need we need to connect to the public instance okay public server public web server right so let go ahead and just connect to that one sorry so you have to use ssh hyphen i just give the certificate name and c2 hyphen user other it give the public ip of any server okay so if i go to c2 instances and get okay so let me grab one public ip hit enter so i'm connected to the public subnet now public ec2 instances and from here we'll connect to the private subnet okay so private ec2 instance hyphen i and give the certificate name and get the private ip address of the db server this is the private ip address okay copy it paste it here here it is we can able to connect right now let's see whether we have the internet access or not so i'll just use sudo yum install let's uh, install mysql here okay mysql hyphen yes hit enter here it is we have now internet access to our private server okay so private instance we have now the internet access act activity on it internet access to it so we can install we can upgrade whatever you want so now we cannot we cannot directly connect to the private instance or to the database server through public instance or to the web server only we can able to connect our database server now we can clearly understood how we can set off the NAT gateway to access our private instance hope you understood clearly how we can do that if you have any doubt or any concerns please do comment me in the comment section below if you have not subscribed my channel please do subscribe now so that you'll get notified whenever i add more videos and automations thank you